hello and welcome back to the master civil engineering and in this video we will learn that how to find the moment of inertia of any composite shape okay i have been given a question which says that we have to find the moment of inertia of this composite shape about the x-axis okay you can see this uh, composite shape which uh, is made up of different figures and we have to find its moment of inertia before solving the problem first let us recap the parallel axis uh, theorem of the moment of inertia this parallel axis theorem states that the moment of inertia of an area with respect to any given axis is equal to the moment of inertia with respect to the centroidal axis plus the product of area at the square of the distance between the two axes and mathematically it is given as suppose we have to calculate the moment of inertia of this body about this x axis which is parallel to the centroidal x dash axis so moment of inertia of this uh, shape about this x axis this will be equal to the moment of inertia of this shape about its own centroidal x axis which is denoted as x dash plus area of the shape multiplied by the square of the distance between these uh, two axes okay so this is the parallel axis theorem now let us move to our question so we have to find the moment of inertia of this composite shape about this x axis to find the moment of inertia we will first divide this composite shape into three parts the first one will be the rectangle second one will be the square and third one will be the triangle so moment of inertia of the rectangle about the x axis this will be calculated by the parallel axis theorem and it is it will be given as moment of inertia of this rectangle about its own centroidal axis plus area of this rectangle multiplied by the distance between this rectangle centroid of this rectangle and the x axis uh, so uh, moment of inertia of this rectangle about its uh, own centroidal x axis this will be given as uh, this uh, width of rectangle multiplied by the cube of the rectangle divided by 12 plus area of rectangle which is width multiplied by the height and distance between these two uh, axes that is the centroidal axis of this rectangle and the x axis width of this rectangle this is 150 mm plus 150 mm which is 300 mm height of this rectangle this is 100 plus 100 which is 200 mm okay and distance between these two axes this is 100 mm okay distance between the centroid of the rectangle and the x-axis this is 100 mm putting values in this equation we get the value of moment of inertia of this rectangle about the x-axis as 800 into 10 is power 6 mm 4 after that we will calculate the moment of inertia of this circle about the x-axis so again moment of inertia of this circle about the x-axis this will be equal to moment of inertia of this circle about this centroidal x-axis plus area of this circle multiplied by the square of the distance between this uh, centroid of the circle and the x-axis moment of inertia of this circle about its own centroidal x axis this is equal to pi into 2r raised power 4 divided by 64 area of circle this is pi r square and distance between the uh, this uh, circle centroid of circle and the x axis let us assume it is d2 radius of this circle this is 75 mm it means the diameter will be 150 mm okay and distance uh, between this centroid uh, distance between the centroid of this uh, circle and the x-axis this is again equal to 100 mm putting values in the equation we get the value of moment of inertia of this circle about the x-axis as 201.57 into 10 raised power 6 mm 4 after that we will find the moment of inertia of this triangle about the x-axis and uh, we can either use the parallel axis theorem or simply calculate the moment of inertia of this triangle about its base okay because this x axis this is also the base of this triangle so moment of inertia of the triangle about its base this is equal to base of the triangle multiplied by the cube of the uh, height of the triangle divided by 12 base of this triangle this is equal to 300 mm 
height of this triangle okay or the altitude of this triangle since this is a right angle triangle this is equal to 100 plus 100 which is 200 mm so putting values we get the value of moment of inertia of this triangle about this x axis as 200 into 10 raised power 6 mm 4 after calculating moment of inertia of these shapes that is these three different shapes about the x axis moment of inertia of the composite shape or the shaded area we have to calculate the moment of inertia of this shaded area because this circle this has been taken out of this figure okay this is the deduction in this composite shape okay we have to only calculate the moment of inertia of this shaded area that is shaded yellow area so moment of inertia of the shaded area about the x-axis this is i1 that is the moment of inertia of this rectangle from that you have to subtract the moment of inertia of the circle about the x-axis and to it you have to add the moment of inertia of this uh, triangle about the x-axis so uh, simply it will be i1 minus i2 plus i3 i'm subtracting this i2 because this uh, circle this has been cut out from this shape and we only have to calculate the moment of inertia of this composite shape if that is this shaded area so it will be equal to 800 minus 201.57 plus 200 into 10 raised power 6 which is equal to 798.43 into 10 raised power 6 mm4 if you have to find this answer up to three significant figures it will be equal to 798 into 10 raised power 6 mm4 this is up to three significant figures so this is how you can calculate the moment of inertia of any composite shape about the x-axis simply you have to break these uh, composite shape into simple geometrical figures calculate the moment of inertia for each of the shape and then add or subtract to get the moment of inertia of the composite shape in this problem we learned that how to find the moment of inertia of the composite shape about the x-axis in the next problem we will learn uh, for the same shape how to find the moment of inertia of the composite shape about the y-axis i hope this solution video was clear and effective to you and if you found this video helpful you can like this video and share this video with your friends also if you have any doubts or queries you can write them in the comment box and i will be happy to help you thanks for watching and stay tuned